Yeah. Yes. We're doing it. Hi, David Delawise. Nice to meet you. Nice it's been very nice for well. us. Um, cheers. Also, cheers. Cheers, honey. It's yours good to, to see you. Here's to Wizards of Waverly Pod. Uh, you know, I the, distinctly. Oh, I thought I was taller. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I can't with you. I remember you distinctly doing your movie announcer voice at any any opportunity. Do you mean this voice? Hi. Yes. One man. <laughs> yes, one that rogue voice. One man. <laughs> Good, right? Yeah. So uh, for the folks at home, uh, God, I'm so lame. Good lord. No, you're not. You're um, the coolest, Jen. That's thank you. I, I'm gonna. I will take all of that. I need it. <laughs> um, no. D- so David and I have seen each other probably the most out of the cast yeah, than anybody. Yeah. Um, cause you know, I mean, you know how it is. It's hard. Like once you see each other every single day yeah. for like four years, and you go different directions yeah. and do stuff. You have and, a life. And life happens. You become a nurse and, and yeah. start working. Did in you hospitals. become a nurse? That's amazing. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so, but I feel like you and I have seen each other the most, which yeah. I love cause you are one of those people that just like brightens my heart. It makes me so happy oh, every time I see you. Cry. Well, don't cry. Nobody wants to see that. Tissue but. please. <laughs> So uh, with this podcast, we're like rewatching episodes and we're getting back into it, which I don't know about you, but I haven't seen some of these episodes ever. They're hard to watch because. Well, don't say I, that. I, I, know, <laughs> but, but I just snotted. Prior, when you prior, said that. You okay? So cute. You want a tissue? <laughs> Do you prior, have an issue? Do you need a tissue? Do you need a tissue? Prior to recently, mm-hmm. I hadn't really watched them because I was concerned Oh. That I didn't do a good job. Well, I what? had in my. I don't know. I'm an actor. I'm, well, you know, yeah, we're I all have, we're I, all insecure, hot messes. But in my mind, I had uh, this idea of how wonderful it was, mm-hmm. and you know, I mean, I'll, I'd watch little clips here or there, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I hadn't sat down and watched the whole show. And quite a while ago, I you know, w- w- well, when Disney Plus started, yeah, 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 I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch the show, and then I was like, mm, and I couldn't do it. But now, so you were going to, but you didn't. Well, I watched a little bit, and, and then I you were felt, like, "Oh hell no!" Yeah, I felt like okay. uncomfortable. It was no, yeah, that's I don't fair. Know. But now, uh, maybe I'm feeling better in my skin. Yeah, and I'm and I'm embracing that. Good, you know? because now with this doing a little rewatch, yeah, it's funny. I mean, I'm sitting there laughing at you and yeah. myself, and my wife is like. That's funny that your your wife is like, please turn this off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she actually, funnily enough, she's German and yeah. and um, she hadn't really watched Wizards after we met. But that makes sense. She watched the first episode, uh, 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 which is Crazy Ten Minute mm-hmm. Sale, um, and that was it. That's all she watched. So this is the we're like I'm watching it with her for the first but time. That's, but I feel like if you're going to. Which I, I love that she hasn't seen it. I think you and I have talked about how, like, my significant others, too, that I've had that are no longer significant. Um, but they, they'd they never seen the show either. And I kind of loved that. Like, yeah. it's kind of nice. But to be able to experience it with your well, wife. And what is that? And I agree with you. But what is that? To, just to investigate that for a second. Is it that you're not with me because I'm on television yes. kind of thing? Yeah. Well, but it's, it's that, you know, somebody enjoys you for you and not this idea of you. Right. I think that's what that is. Um but but I you know I totally understand where you're coming from because I remember like I I joke that I'm like a performer a, a performer I can't speak English I'm not a performer I can't speak um, I'm a former perfectionist because I remember I watched like 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 the crazy time and sale and I look at how in in my head I am with so much of it where I'm like really thinking about the beats and I'm really like meaning now watching yeah, it or watching about, okay. it back and and I and I was I was so hard on myself at the time cuz like I only watched the episodes on you know Thursday Friday when we would or Friday when we would do the the live audience right when they would show back Wait clips a minute. back then you never watched the episodes no. like what well, that's interesting I never watched the show unless it was on playback Wow. So, so you never went home and like watched no. the show. Well, or, how lame right. is that? I mean, come on. Like, I mean, it's possible somebody on the show <laughs> like me did that. You it's know? possible somebody. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, like with watching the show, the the first the pilot of the show or the first episode that aired was crazy. Right, because the, the pilot. No, that one never was aired. Was a whole different thing. Yeah, you weren't which, in it. Which was the amazing O'Malley's. Yeah. Which. Which I, was not so amazing because you weren't in it. <laughs> and it was a, a, a magic store, not a sub yes. shop. Yeah. Right? And I was not the dad, and Jake was not in the, the mm-hmm. show. And there were other yeah. actors and that were in it. Uh, 
Brandon. Yeah, Brandon was, Michael Smith right. was David's friend. Who and then later was on... Sonny with a Chance. Right. Yeah, and, and Selena and David were twins. Right. Which I'm like, that's not going to work. Big, these are big changes yeah, huge to, to changes. what it ended up huge being. Huge changes. And um, yeah, the show was totally different. And the, and the dad, who I, I apologize to him, but I can't remember his name. Yeah. And we then did a, a, a guest spot yeah. on... Awkward. Um, the mentalist yeah. and i was sitting there complaining to him about this disney show that i had done oh no and i then realized he was the oh, one God. from the original oh, pilot that's which like was one of those so like hey let me surgically remove my foot yeah, but from he my had mouth a, he had a nice career and yeah, he, yeah i yeah. don't think he realized because he's like you he didn't watch the show <laughs> yeah well and that one never aired anyway so there was yeah. i i've never seen the pilot i do remember your first line in the, the first episode we shot was the magic carpet episode yes but the first one that aired was the crazy 10 minute sale right which uh i rewatched. yeah and I thought it was really funny yeah. first line was a, a spell that david said edubano yeah. utusis which <laughs> yeah. i'm going to admit okay everyone <laughs> i did not know that the spell was edge bono u2 which blows my mind because how i was like 13, 14 at the time, and I totally got it. I was I was very young and, and but, two. But, but you should, no, but here's the thing. You too was more like your wheelhouse. Yes. You know what I mean? At the time. I should have known, but yeah. I didn't, and it dawned on me later. But so. all of our spells were like that. Like all of our spells were like some kind of pop culture reference or right. inside joke right. or like our writer's name, right. something which like was, that. Which was really cool. It was. Um, and and I do have to say that the special effects in my mind <laughs> were great and rewatching it not so much well you know it was a very it, it was disney and you know it was a certain time I mean, and they were quick turnarounds and passed, we did the best we passed, could and that's right. all that we needed i know there's some episodes i think the special effects like went better than others i think the, the crazy 10 minute sale where she's like whirling around everywhere like that passed pretty well i think <laughs> i don't know what you know not with me but better, but, but, better than better than others better than yeah. others there were some that i'm like you know but what was i want to i want to yeah. hear this because i don't know 100 percent. what was your i mean i have my audition and and getting on the show yeah. process what was your uh, what was it like auditioning for the show because you were living in in texas yeah at the so time. i actually so if it weren't for Wizards, I would have had to like quit acting. Cause like it was like the, like, cause I was the kind of actor that since I was like nine years old, I would go out to LA for six months out of the year and then go back to Texas. And I would like fund it completely. Like my parents didn't pay for any of that, which they shouldn't have. It was my thing, you know? Um, but I would fund it by whatever, I would do like one guest star a year. Okay, I don't mean to interrupt you. You're fine. What made you go, I wanna do acting? What, what, what was that moment? A theater. Where that Theater. theater. So back in, in Texas. school you were doing No, theater. it was back in Texas. It was like community theater. Because ah. they didn't have theater in my school. But did you see something? Did you go, oh, that my, movie? I'm, my brother know. was addicted to video games. And one summer my mom said, we're not going to play video games all summer. Find something to do. And he wasn't super athletic. So he found this like theater camp. And he auditioned. And he played Jim Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird. If I have to sit through that courtroom scene one more time that's it that's, that's oh a lot my of god i was the kid that got dragged all the rehearsals and i i don't know what clicked in my like five-year-old six-year-old brain but like something just clicked that i was like i love this and then i and then i um i auditioned for a play and i got like one line and i told my mom i'm not going to do it because it's not the lead because wow. my well my well my brother his first audition he got the lead he got sure. jim french okay. so i was like this is what you do you get the lead right so i was like i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna pass and my mom's like no you're not you're gonna do it but but everything you had done really up until wizards it was all was drama. drama yeah it was all drama drama D -d -all drama mama <laughs> um but yeah it was all drama and um but yeah so i funded going out to california from like one guest spot a year that i would do um so my money was gone so originally they said, I think Disney said they were like, well, can you come out for like, we want you to audition for the friend. It's going to be reoccurring. And I was like, I can't afford to do the reoccurring. I can't. Did you, did you do it like, I mean, this never happened back then, but yeah. like a self tape and send it in? No, it never happened. That, that stuff didn't, I mean, it did, but like not really. And I, I think, I, I can't, no, I, I don't think that was an option. I don't think that was an option. How did so, they notice they come in? Because you had worked for them before. Yeah, I, I'd done you. a pilot with them before with like Vanessa Hudgens, like Moises Arias, um, like a bunch of people. She had like just done. Do you remember, I remember what that was called? It was called Bus Life. It was it was 
about being on a bus? Literally, we shot on a bus and we went around a cul-de-sac. Like we went around like a street and we shot on a bus and that was what it was. Wow. And it was not sustainable. So Disney was like, absolutely not. Right. Um, so this is a very long-winded but, story, but, but wait, 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 wait. I mean, We're here. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And that uh, uh, is good that you didn't, that show didn't go because then you yeah. got to be Harper. Yeah, so, so they asked me to come in for the, the front, which was reoccurring at the time, which I couldn't, I honestly s- had said no because I could not afford to come out to L.A. for what, I, uh, to be perfectly frank, what Disney paid for reoccurring characters. Right. And, um, and so they had me come out and audition for Alex. So I came out to audition for Alex, and then at the last minute, they handed me the Harper side. So they were like, no, we really feel like you're a good fit for this. I was like, okay. And then wow. I fought for it to be a series regular. I never knew that, yeah. that you auditioned for Alex. That's yeah, so yeah, yeah, that I auditioned for Alex. So I was completely dressed for Alex. I had done the homework for Alex, and then I had to completely just like cold read. And well, you did a very around. good job, Thank Jay. you. I appreciate I it. Mean, Which watching... I mean, it was, it's a much better fit. You know what I mean? Like, I... I, I, I well, you could have done it. I mean... Yeah, I could have done it. But like, it's, like I said, watching it back now, like Selena and my dynamic, the way like what we established with each other, I, I think we created something really... Beautiful. Amazing you that know has I mean? taken so, the world, you know. That's I mean, that's extent, like yeah. intense. But no, well, but so I, what was your audition process? Because uh, I went in and auditioned, and, and uh, um, uh, the one of the uh, uh, big people on the show is Peter Marietta, who yeah. I had worked with on the Christina Applegate show Jesse, which was on yeah. After Friends. Nobody really remembers it. It only went a season. <laughs> but it was like, it was in between Friends and Frasier. And, and it's a great said, time slot. You, well, but people said you could put just nothing in between yeah. and it would get good ratings. But just someone just taking a shit on the floor. <laughs> in the <middle> of the <laughs> just. I mean, it was a little better than that. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. But oh, please in, don't think I'm saying I, that. No, go, uh, I'm, so Disney Channel yeah. was Hannah Montana and, and Zach and Cody. No. Yeah. Uh, is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, and that was like, oh, I don't want to be just the dad on on a Disney show. That's fair. Uh, hey, kids, don't do that. Uh, uh, at the end, I told you so. Yeah, you know, yeah. I didn't want to be just that. I wanted to Why, that participate. Seems so fun. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I went in and and auditioned, and mm-hmm. they loved me. And like you said, they, Disney, you know, the negotiations with Disney was very tough because they were like, "We're Disney, so it, you either take this yeah, or don't." Yeah, you don't. You don't have a lot of leverage. My quote was very high at the yeah. time, so I, so so was mine because yeah. I had I had gone to network for like Desperate Housewives or like network shows, so my quote was was up there and yeah. then you go oh I, I i need to this is not show art it's show business yeah. right so i passed i well i did go in and this test. was at the pilot or at the show this was for the pilot this was for the original amazing o'malley's yeah this was for that so i came in because they you they wanted me but then i uh, I went in. Uh, the way you do it is you go in, you audition for the uh, producers, and then they say, we want to use you or not. We're going to make you an offer. Mm-hmm. And then you negotiate typically your salary before you go into the network. You know, everyone's asleep right now. What? Like, Stop oh. it. No, people don't, <laughs> some people don't know what the process no, I'm, no, is I'm like. I'm just messing with you. I'm messing with you because I love you so I'm much. I'm asleep. Yeah, yeah. So the, <laughs> the deal usually is done before uh, you go into the studio. But for whatever reason, I hadn't signed the contract. Yeah. It wasn't done. So I went in and auditioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, they loved me. But then we couldn't, you know, uh, do a, a deal uh, financially. So I passed. And that's why I was not the dad in the original oh, See, I didn't know that. Show. I didn't know you were supposed to be the dad. Well, the they wanted me. And I didn't okay. end up doing it. Okay, I see. And, and funnily enough. Because the energy was totally different. Like, what, what you guys don't know who never saw the pilot was the, the dad – in the pilot, it was just a totally different take. He was so straight laced. He was so like, versus how you played Jerry, and and you know comes from somewhat of you as well. Is this like kinetic, like crazy energy that is so infectious? What do you mean? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you're so straight laced in person. Yeah. I, I do say to people that you know I'm I'm not as cheap as Jerry Russo was. Sure. I do love food, as, yeah, because you know, I'm Italian as as much yeah, as Jerry yeah. Russo, and but I. I did love being a dad on the show. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I'm a dad. I have two daughters. And you can see that. And it's one yeah. of my, like, it's it's a beautiful thing that unfolds over the show. And we'll talk about that more yeah. with, like, other episodes. What do you remember? Because I remember Crazy 10-Minute Sales so distinctly. Because, like I said, it's the second episode we shot. And I was so nervous. Because you guys, I felt like I was walking into an already established cast, an already established show, because you guys had already done that first episode. 
So I was so. What do you remember oh, about? You were not in the I magic not in carpet. The, I was not in that first. Oh, I was not in the magic wow, carpet episode. So right. that first episode, I remember walking in for crazy time at sale and being so nervous because I was like, they've already had like a week to like get to know each other and get chummy and like all this stuff. And I'm the new kid on the block. That's like, even though I'd done the pilot with Selena and David, right, right. like I, I, I was, I was, I don't know. I just remember being so nervous. And also, I had broken two of my toes. So I was wearing, oh my God. yeah. So I was wearing like a boot, like otherwise, and then trying to like hide it. Well, so I, I had like no limited. idea. You'd never know. I mean, I no. just watched it. Well, because I'm, I'm of that like child actor brain where I'm like, you just power through and you make it work and like you show up to, you know, all that like theater kid stuff where I it's like that. you show up for the day and nobody can know that you, you're. You, you remember your first line in the show? No, you told me. What yeah, was it? The, uh, you, are you ready for the, are you excited for the, the crazy <laughs> sale, the 10 minute sale? Yeah. You know, that was. Well, I was a great exposition character. Yeah, you did have a lot of <laughs> stuff. Like I'm, I'm giving the plot. And here yeah, it yeah. is. Here, here it, it is. is. Let me unfold it for you. But, but you know, you got to have that. Is it Gigi, the character Gigi? Yeah, Do you yeah, remember yeah. her? Yes. Did, because she was only on that episode, right? No, the, she was the, on a couple. Because oh, she okay. was on, she was on the first season. Um, she was like Amanda Tepe, who played. Which that's a funny story too. You remember she played the like the saleswoman at the at Suburban Outfitters. Yes. Which is such a great pun on Urban Outfitters. Well, she's the one who talked like this. Yeah. So when she was in the chocolate episode. Yes. She was, was in like everything. Like the first season. Whatever, right. Yeah. So she um and I love I love her because that was initially like just like a co-star that like was written as like a whatever, and she so made it her own yeah. that they kept bringing her back. Because she they, worked at many different places. She worked at many different places, <laughs> but because she did it like instead of just reading it like a throwaway side character, she read it in that deadpan way. And yeah. God bless her for yeah. like making that strong choice and sticking with it. Well, that's why uh, by you do a smaller part, sometimes it turns into a, a bigger thing, you know. But she was such like even at that age, she was such a lesson to me of like, oh, you make a strong choice and like it make it can make a huge yeah, difference because she came important. back for so many episodes yeah. in that first season. But what made me really laugh was when the bully uh, girl, oh, I forgot her name, Gigi, now. Gigi yeah. when she has her two cronies with her that have had nose, nose jobs. jobs and then they laugh and they go <laughs> ow ow and that was so funny to me which is yeah no 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 that was a but yeah so what do you remember about uh, that week well one of the things that you know that that stood out to me is there was when we were done with the show there was a jacket on in the set of the of the loft mm -hmm. that was there which is this jacket which i stole don't tell him. What? Oh my God. And you know now that, I have it, but then you know this is being it. recorded, what? right? What? What? Oh my God. So I am wearing <laughs> the actual jacket right now. It's a good jacket. And in watching the crazy 10 minute yeah. sale, I wore this jacket. I don't. Did you I really? didn't remember that. I did. You know, there's. It things. wasn't just like hanging on the coat rack. No, it was. It was in the actual episode, which I was uh, uh, taking it back. I had no idea. That's. But, you know, watching it now and. Um, enjoying your performance and seeing it and remember every uh, everything was fun, but yeah. just yeah, I'm happy that I'm laughing at myself and not burying my face in my yeah. hands, going, "What did I do?" You know. Well, I feel like that's such like a waste of energy, but like so many actors do that. Like we were talking about, where so many actors will just like flog themselves essentially over like, "Oh, I could have done this better, or this better," and sure, you know what I mean. But like, I feel like now it's so interesting because it's. Like especially that like crazy ten minute sale, I remember something so clearly, like like that first outfit. I remember that outfit so clearly with the rainbow socks and the sunflower shirt and the headband and like the rainbow necklace because that was like the first of us doing themes. Yeah, you. I mean, you had amazing outfits. Oh my god! Like our wardrobe department was amazing, but like that was just the beginning of us starting to do themes and you could see that like the birth of that yeah. with that one outfit and the and selena having that line about being like oh yeah i can see your rainbow socks from like over here you and know you what i mean then said something about like i i sewed my own thing i made yeah this, right? yeah yeah and it became and we just built on that and i still have i think at least the socks. I don't know if I have the whole outfit, but I at least have the socks somewhere. Did you get all the clothes from the show? I got most of the clothes. They wanted so, me to buy them, but then I just took them. So Julie was really sweet. She pulled me aside when the show was over. Julie was like our head wardrobe department. She pulled me aside and she said, they're going to put these in a vault somewhere. She goes, take whatever you want. And I did. I literally just like grabbed whatever I could and it's funny because people gave me crap because the, the the dress everybody remembers is the marker dress um which there were two of them oh really yeah there were two of them because um 
Bridget Mendler, who we'll talk about because she was in like later episodes, but um, she had one and then I had one because a bunch of people gave me a bunch of crap because they were like, oh, at D23, there's the market dress. Which one's the real dress? And I'm like, they're both the real dress. They were just for two different people. I have mine. She has hers. I'm like, we're very different shapes. Right. So like, you know, um, but yeah, you know, it's funny. This is a very, my ADD brain, but like, I just think of the, because there's certain things that are timeless about the show and certain things that are very like not timeless <laughs> for lack of a better term. I don't know what the right word is for that, but there's something where you were like rewinding. Oh, I went like, I, like you went boop, she, boop, boop. Yeah. Like I the Tito sound. Boop. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. And she's like, what are you doing? And I said, uh, uh, fast forwarding to the part where this, you you know, yeah. where this makes sense or something. Yeah. Or where Which I feel like people, I feel like people watching that now, like kids like watching it back would be like totally lost on them what that sound is. Which when you did it, I was like, I know exactly what it's he's TiVo, doing. It's TiVo. Exactly. It's Which TiVo. was, if people don't know what TiVo is, it was a thing where you could pause and stop <laughs> and rewind television, live television, which never happened. Yeah. It, it was amazing. It, it, you yeah. could record, you I could was rewind. I excited about that. Who wasn't? And then also, I laughed at myself because I was like, hmm, let's, let's ask, ask the answer dice. Uh, no. I, I, no, I, I'm I was quoting a, myself. Is this good. wrong? Should I stop doing that? No, you had some, you had some bits. Like, I, I genuinely laughed out loud at several bits that you had. Um, there was, sorry, my brain is just like. I'm all the episodes that I just recently watched of the first 12. So all of those are in my brain, but the crazy 10 minute sale had a lot of base stuff that went throughout the whole series. Yeah. No, you know? cause you did your, uh, 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 Alex, that thing that everybody wants which you to I do. I had no you idea. You did that in the first episode. Which, I didn't, or yeah, I didn't I realize. I didn't know it was going to be a signature thing. I just did Well, it, but none of us. It said, like, it, it didn't, it just said, you know, Jerry gets crazy and mm-hmm. then yells Alex, you know, and, not until later on uh, when people asked me to yeah. do, can you do that thing? And I was like, what do you mean? What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then I, you know, you there, it's oh, Alex. Okay, hold on. Walk me through that. How was it scripted? Because I don't remember. It just was, I think it said Jerry gets frustrated, uh-huh. dot, 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 and then, you know, yells Alex. Yeah. It's, but maybe That's it was it? That's you, all that was scripted? It's, or, yeah, I mean, I, I would always embellish and add Yeah, no, I remember it, that. Because you, know? you were like, because like I said, coming from someone that had done mostly drama, you were like a comedy masterclass to me. What? Like I loved watching. Jen, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What did you say? All right, all right. <laughs> but but um, we had, was it? No, that was a different episode when, when you were the servant Yeah, stay wench. focused, stay focused. I'm here. Um, One episode at a time, man. Yeah, but the, the first, I remember the first table read mm-hmm. that we did they, they because the kids were you know kind of green yeah. new we did a pre table read yeah I, I, I remember you like, saying this no, is true. I don't I don't want to do a double table read every well, okay, time okay okay but we weren't that some of us were green and some of us weren't like David Henry I'm, and I had worked for years I'm not saying you're 100 percent green I think it was the people uh, that were in charge it wanted was, to make sure yeah. that everyone was doing the jokes correctly because it was so important because sure. at a table read where every all the cast sits down on the first listen <laughs> you're pretending like everybody knows what you know what well, I'm gonna what, shut up I'm gonna shut up explain no, 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 explain. don't shut up it's a podcast we have to talk <laughs> Jennifer but we we would you know you sit down and the, all the heads of the department the makeup wardrobe you know all all of the people all the network people and all the the studio people are there watching yeah. so the the writers and creators are concerned that it's going to go well so sure. they made us do it they twice. don't want a bunch of like rugrats screwing it up right yeah uh, it was tough i get scared at table reads because i'm dyslexic yeah so we would i would have to get the script right away so that i could pre-read it and i knew what all the words were you know what was the what was the line that in your audition oh that yes you messed up? Uh, in, in the one? pilot uh, or in the audition yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, i had to say uh what i thought was look at aren't these magical caps amazing <laughs> A cap. Was that a thing? And sure. I even if I did something with it, you know. Yeah. But the the word was cape. Yeah. These magic capes, which makes a lot more sense. Well, okay, but you can have a magical cap. Why not? <laughs> but, I mean, we did much weirder things on the show. I mean, to to my credit, I guess I have said it wrong, but they still you wanted me for the yeah. show, you know. Uh, but that that was tough. I I get very nervous in in doing table reads. 
Yeah, you know, that's fair. Um, cause you want it to, to be funny. And, well, and, and, and there's such like a high octane energy too. And I remember like our like first table read, or at least the one I was like, like I said, cause that was my first episode, right. um, doing the, the crazy 10 minute sale. That was my first. So I remember again, there's that energy and that just that like kinetic, like build. Right. Um, do you remember our first, speaking of first, do you remember our first like huddle? How we would do those little like we things? We would always get stage? together yeah. and before we did the show, we would get together and huddle up and, and basically bless the the performance yeah. of the show that we were gonna, and, and thank God that yeah. we were there and, and yeah. that we were very happy to, to you know, do that. Yeah. Uh, who started that? Was, I don't was that know. Selena that did that? I don't know who that, started or? that. I don't know if it was, Peter, or if it was maybe like Victor, or I remember Ron, our PA, one of our, or yes. our AD. He was, maybe. Se- he was the second. Yeah, right? so I don't know. I don't know who started it, but it became a thing that we always did where we would do this like prayer before we would like go Which out. Which was wonderful. I and loved it. Yeah. After the curtain call, the entire audience would come down and we would take photos yeah, and do that yeah. with them, and which was amazing. And of course, in my mind, I was like, this is never going to last. No, Everybody's going to be like, man, a, unfortunately. Well, well, really? I remember still that they would we come down and take pictures. We did it for a long time. Did we stop doing that? I, 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 well, now you're making me second guess myself. I, 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 I remember see, that my whole thing was that it continued, that, you know, and, and even at a we, certain point, it was dangerous. Because oh, you know, yeah, that's who, you know true. who's in the audience coming down and and mingling with us. That's true. Know? I think we did do it for a long time. Now that I think about it, where like they would come down from the audience, which and before we would just like everybody. like most people would just like grab stuff from like the because there would be no. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a Deloise. I'm gonna go. So there's these awnings <laughs> and then there's these seats. Well, you can see um, people are listening. I mean, people are watching us right now, but people also are listening. So I want them sure. to, no, to know. Sure. No, I get it. You know? I get it. Well, what was your favorite thing about filming that episode? We'll wrap up there. Um. Well, I, I was just about to say, like some of the jokes that I said were pretty funny. You know, you were your favorite thing about that episode. Well, no, it wasn't I know. that I was. The the fact rewatching it, my favorite thing was that I didn't look silly. That I thought yeah. uh, that I thought I did a good job, because I think a lot of times actors look at their performances and yeah. they're like, eh, you know, sure. it's, it's not great. What was your favorite thing, Jennifer Stone? My my favorite thing was the physical bits. That was that was because it was my first time doing physical comedy. So like sticking my head in the bag. You know, like like hitting the coffees out of Maria's hand, like that was stuff I had never done before. So, like the physical comedy aspect, I really enjoyed, which was great. And and Fred Savage was our director. Mm-hmm. He directed the original pilot, Amazing O'Malley's, and then this this show, which uh, it, as a director is very nice. Yeah, I, I did end up directing several of the episodes and and other things, but. When you direct a pilot, yeah. you make money in the DGA for the rest of your life, which is, you know, you, you want to do that, you know. Well, well I'm just, you yeah. know, especially if you're on Disney, you, you need to do other things. Sure, sure, you know? sure, sure. I, I, um, what was it like when you did the Amazing O'Malley's? You, you, that was the first time. Did you meet any of the other actors when you were auditioning? Oh my God, I'm going to do a Deloise because when you're uh, auditioning, a lot of times they'll mix and match characters. Yeah, so yeah. so there might be a couple of actors for one part yeah. and, and you're in the waiting room together. So sure. did you meet? Uh, I, I'll have to ask Selena about this because I remember reading with her. And that could be one of those weird memory things where like I don't remember correctly, but I do remember reading with her. And, and we had a time... Um, in the audition process. In the audition yeah. process. Because I remember coming in for um, Alex, and then I remember going in with her for Harper, and we had really good chemistry. I remember that. I could totally be making that up in my memory. I don't know. I'll have to ask her. But, um, but then I met David on the pilot, and Maria, and uh, yeah. And then you, and I remember meeting you, and I remember... My dad was very excited because, like I said, Smokey and the Bandit 2 is his favorite movie ever. Right. And for people who don't know, my dad was Dom DeLuise, who was in Smokey, Smokey and, and the, the Bandit, Bandit 2. 2. Which, and also, too, like, I, I, I really remember your laugh. Like, I remember hearing your laugh for the first time and be like, oh, this is a guy. Because I love people's laughs. So when you have, like, a really infectious laugh, I'm like, oh, this is a person I can get behind. I remember that. 
Um, and then Jake, Selena, and I had school together. So I right. remember, like, we bonded so much because we were stuck in that school room. And like, you were 14 years hours. old in what grade? In, what is that? Uh, seven? Ninth, seven? Maybe? Right, I don't know. Okay. I'm the wrong person to ask. We were homeschooled. I don't know. <laughs> My timing was all over the place with school. But because um, I was 13 when I did the pilot and then 14 when the show got picked up. But that's also, you're uh, working and going to school. And, and I mean, like, you guys are together 24-7. Yeah, so there. we bonded a lot. We bonded a lot. And then David was like, like, I think David had gotten his like GED or something, so like he was off. Like so, he was seventeen when we yeah, started. Yeah, he wasn't eighteen, but like he was too cool for school. He and didn't if, hang. If we did technically the math, I would have been, uh, uh, I think, eighteen years old <laughs> to, 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 like, to be his dad in real life. True. You know, so I think I was like thirty-five ish or around there. Yeah, when I which blows my show. mind because I know Selena just turned thirty. I turned thirty next year, so that oh like my blows goodness. my so mind. So in five minutes, you, you know, five years, you you would be I'm my d- same d- age. Don't rush it, please. <laughs> please <laughs> okay, don't rush sorry. it. Um, I don't technically remember that first meeting of everybody. I do remember the table reads. I remember the things that I didn't like, which was the pre-table read yeah. and the fact that I messed up the audition with the you know caps and capes, yeah. It's, it's funny. Know? It's funny the things that you remember. I, I remember like settling in with everybody that like initial like hi nice to meet you I think it's like so much nerves and like oh my god I'm gonna be with this person and like we're gonna be doing this thing together for years because with Disney like it was a four-year contract and it was a guaranteed four years versus like a network show wait a minute wait a minute you were guaranteed four years that was because one of the reasons why it's assumed uh, okay but I didn't know that I was so not aware of what was going on see I had had friends that were like because I was a kid actor I had friends that were like kid actors on Disney shows right so So it's kind of like assumed that the show will go three four years I wish you had told me that before I negotiated because the reason why I said yes to doing the series is because they guaranteed me the first season so oh. I knew I couldn't pass up on a year's worth of sure, work. Sure, yeah. You know, so and I'm glad that I did. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. But but no, I but no, because that was the thing with Disney, and that's why you know it's kind of it was kind of its own thing. Was like you were kind of guaranteed three four years worth of work because you knew the show. It wasn't this thing of sorry, I sorry, feel surprise. So stupid right now. <laughs> no, but it was kind of this thing where it was like because you know, <clears throat> excuse me. With other shows, you wait every year to see if you're going to get picked yeah, up again. that's what normal people did. They would negotiate salaries and no. wait for the, you do, uh, uh, you know, 13 episodes, you wait for the back nine. Yeah. If they, would you pick no, it up or with, not? No, but with Disney, it was like you were kind of guaranteed thir- three years, and then at the fourth year, you would have to renegotiate. So they would always, that, and that's why they did all the spinoffs. Right, they changed Zack and Cody to Because they would Zach have to renegotiate. Cody on deck. Yeah, because they, they would have to renegotiate they at four years. called it a whole, it was a whole mm-hmm. different show. They did that all the time. And then they bumped everybody down in their pay because was, at four years you have to renegotiate disney yeah. mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness um you know what also blows my mind um that billy eilish has the, the 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 bad guy song samples our theme song i don't i didn't you didn't know that uh, maybe somebody mentioned it to me i i know her because my my cousin is good friends with her parents, and I, I yeah. met her when she was a lot younger. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I didn't. Know, wait, well, I want to. I'm going to go listen to that. You song should. On no, because like if you listen to it, if you listen to it, you can really hear it. It's like she uses. I mean, because I mean, her and her brother are amazing. But like, so she sampled part she of the sampled, theme song. It, it's like a like a, a like an Australian like walking like pedestrian light like that's one thing she samples and then she samples that do 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 like that that first part of the theme song well, which now i can't hear the theme song without hearing bad guy oh god oh okay good because i can't hear the theme song without going okay let's fast forward through the opening <laughs> did you know that we heard selena it so was much. singing the oh yeah back the, i didn't I, I didn't know i mean listen we shot the whole first season in the hole. We were not on. We were not well, on that, television until. Yeah, that they, was a special time. Which was a really good that thing because then time. we didn't, or at least for me, no one was affected. Everybody was focusing on the yeah. work rather than, ooh, I'm getting famous. I'm. But that you know, was people but know the, me, the, you know. But like I, because that was the Disney formula, right? It was to you have your lead, and they sign to Hollywood Records, and they, you know, they sing the theme song, and then they have a record, and then you know. So I knew that that 
was all going to happen yeah. with her. So I knew like she was going to sing the theme song and have her own record. And so I wasn't surprised by any of that. The, but yeah, that first season was really special. The opening is so silly. Oh my God. You know, I'm, what am I? I'm, gr- I'm like, hey, grabbing for the computer. Oh no. And then I look at the camera and I'm like, <laughs> it's hi, so David camp. Deloise here. <laughs> it's, so, it's so like, you know, like weatherman special kind yeah, of thing. Right, I, I exactly. don't even know. I, I don't, I, I know I'm wearing the watermelon shirt in the first season opening, but like, I don't remember what I'm doing. I think I'm just like I'm going to school. Yeah, like you're you know, smiling because like it's Jake, and then it goes into a watermelon on the fridge, yeah, and then it comes out, and the to watermelons me. on your on your on my outfit, shirt. Right? Yeah. Did you ever do the? Do you remember the trampoline transitions? No. And by you the never, way, oh, transitions. Oh. I was never really allowed, or Why? we were not, because it was all the kids in the transitions. I didn't oh. get to be in it, but. In rewatching, there was one transition where we all, I'm in it. Yeah. And we're all so you running. didn't get to do the transition. Well, one, I mean, okay. that, I'm sure in the beginning that was like only, you know, they used that one time. Because later I was like, I'm not in the transition. <laughs> I'm not. But I filmed it. Well, we could have given the, you a computer that you would have thrown. <laughs> <laughs> but I just was, I, I was, you know, I guess when you're not a part of something, because I was only a 10 out of 13. Yeah. I was not in every single well, episode. Well, same. I think I was like eight out of. 13 the first season and and that changes every once yeah, in a while yeah. and, and they can also use you more than that yeah. just they, they don't guarantee <laughs> disney oh my god that's gonna be a running thing mm, mm. disney but i'm gonna hurt the, my vocal cords tr- trying to get to that level it's all right i'll do it for you disney <laughs> doesn't work the Doesn't transition work. that I was in, I was so excited yeah. about that. Oh. I just filmed it. I was like, look, I'm in the transition. But it was like a group one, right? Yeah, so I never did the trampoline thing oh. where, where everybody was Because I remember that day. It. I was very excited. But and I'm, I don't remember being. You remember being there doing all the yeah. different things for the transition? Because they brought a trampoline in. What 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 child with a teen at the back of their age doesn't go? Oh, there's a trampoline right, and get excited. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I was jazzed. It was a good day of work. You know so what I mean? Funny. The transitions were good. The, it was quick, to the point, and and fun. I, I had done a show, Third Rock from the Sun, yeah. where the transitions were really good. Highly recommend a rewatch on that because it's a good show. <laughs> Holds up. Um, but the the transitions are important because it, you can get bored by those. Some of the transitions, yeah. I guess. What sign, uh, a Seinfeld is the best. The boo, 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 you know. I, know, like I, I never watched. Seinfeld I'm sorry, that much. Jen. Did you just say you never watched Seinfeld? I, d- I just I didn't get into it. I'm sorry. Okay, homework assignment. You got to watch a bunch of seasons of that. It's genius. I, it's so I, funny. I, I I respect it. It's just not my thing. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. And what influenced? I asked Selena one time. I said, "You got great timing. Like uh, you're really funny. Like what?" How, Jennifer how Aniston did this, on Friends. Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. she said, yeah. you can't tell anybody. Oh, she said. Oh. She said to me, you can't tell anybody, but I've watched every episode When of did she Friends. say that? Wait, when she was 14 or oh, whatever. Oh, I was about to say, day. I was like, she's told people that since then. No, no, but back then oh, she was okay. saying, yeah. and, and if you look at her performance, oh, yeah, she's not just Jennifer Aniston, but she's uh, uh, um, influenced by all three of the, the women yeah. from Friends. Yeah, yeah, know? but I mean, it can't it, like help. Like when you watch something, it gets in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it gets in there. Well, and and I uh, have embodied my dad. So yeah. if I ever forgot a line, or if something was happening like that on the show, I I would just kick into uh, my dad. Yeah, you know, uh, which well, like what's an example good. of that? Um, well, <laughs> no, um. Not so much the acting part, but if I made a mistake, mm-hmm. my dad would always go uh, and say, mm, "Oh, your mother's ass." And that's what, and then I did that. I would go. I, I would, remember. I, I remember. would say, yeah. and this is bad. You know, if you're listening with your kids, oh, their ears now. But I would say, "Oh, fuck your mother's ass. I messed it up." You know, I would yeah. get mad at myself. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the the producer came up to me and said, "David, uh, Jake is 12." And uh, the kids are here, so you can't swear. And then and we I was grow, like, grew up, like, the next season of Curse way more than you did. 100%. You guys <laughs> yeah. were all cursing. And I was yeah. like, this is not fair. This is, this, You're you like, know. wait, what happened to the... But I really had to work yeah. on not... Because my dad would say the F word. And sure. we would we would swear, you know. And, yeah. And, and um, that was a good thing about the show, that we were we were done early. 
because yeah, all the you kids had, your had daughters, to be. You know? Well, no, but because yeah, I mean, I really wanted. I one of the things that I loved about the show is that it's as much of a nine to five as you can get uh, as an yeah. actor or sitcom. Yeah. You're you're you know rehearsing on. Well, Monday, maybe Tuesday, for you. Wednesday. Like I said, we had to stay and do school. Well, the good news is yeah. that we're going to be here and we're going to watch every single episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I loved watching the episode we'd watch. It. Next week, yeah. we're going to talk about the second episode, which was first the kiss. first kiss. Yeah, or we might have a special guest. We don't know. Right. So stay tuned to find out and which one. And also, we're going to do this wonderful thing called the Magic Crystal Ball Questions. You're, you're, and I you've have, been so excited. I'm excited. Yes. yes. And I have, <laughs> this is a Wizards uh, of Waverly Place wand, which yeah, I have, which it was, it was one back in the day that yeah, you could and buy, here we which go. you We're going to do that in the future. <laughs> He's been waiting to do this. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Okay. Or, um, yeah, no, we will. You better. <laughs> you better. This is mm, Disney. <laughs> I love you, Jen. Jen Stone. I Aww. always say your your whole name. I love it. I love it. You know I love you, too. I'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye now. Bye. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you want more Wizards in your life, then join our Patreon and get exclusive weekly bonus content. And if you join our Patreon before next week's episode, you get to access a live Q&A with Jen Stone, David DeLuise. I don't know if you know, but I played Jerry Russo. Huh? I, think, <laughs> I think I know. Join our Patreon <laughs> now. See you guys there. <laughs> what would I told myself? Um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And enjoy a little more. Because I really yeah. wanted it to be the best. Like, I'm trying to be a perfectionist with everything. I think I would have, you know. Mine mine would be savor it. Savor it. Mine, mine would be savor it. Pressure's Because I was so, yeah, at the time I was so ready to, like, go to the next thing. And, and I, and yeah, I wish I had just savored it a little bit more. All right, you're up. <laughs> I know. I stumped her. <laughs> it, it did, and I don't know why. I guess it's maybe okay. because.